Hello. Today we are going to make a helix ear cuff. And for that, I have a piece of 20 gauge wire and it's cut at 4 inches. I have a scrap piece of 22 gauge wire. Now, I just grabbed this out of my scrap. That's way more than we need. I have a flat heart bead and this is a bead but we're not going to use it as a bead. Um, you could use any bead or charm that you want. I have some E6000 chain nose plier, wire cutter, round nose plier, and we need a file. Okay, before we begin, I just need you to bear with me today because I have the flu and I know my voice sounds different and I'm hoping I can get through this. But to begin, we're going to grasp our 20 gauge wire in approximately the center. I mean, you could measure it if you want to be extremely precise but approximately the center is good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. Now we can squeeze this in if you'd like, if you want this to be a bit tighter. I'm actually pretty good with where it's at right now. But now going along right around this part of our plier, we're going to bend this kind of in like a curl, kind of like that. Now using our 22 gauge wire, I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to hold it with my chain nose. And I'm going to wrap this around my 20 gauge wire just a few times. How many ever times you need to accommodate your bead or your charm or whatever you're using or at least give it some kind of a base. Okay, that's good. Now let's tighten this up. And here we definitely want these cuts to be on top of our cuff so that it ends up underneath of our bead. Okay, that's probably a little bit too long. I'm going to slide this up quite a bit and go ahead and cut this side. <coughs> There we go. So now we just have a base for our bead or charm or whatever we're using. Now let's get the E6000. And I'm going to place it onto this coil of wire I just did. And I'm going to place my charm on top just like that and now we just need this to dry okay now that this has dried we're gonna bend this wire upwards like that. Okay. Now let's trim these ends evenly. Actually, they're kind of long, really, so let's trim down a little bit more and go ahead and cut this off. Let's separate these a little bit and file both of them. So file both ends of your wire. OK, 
okay now let's just coil these downward just like this and do that on both sides so that's it our cuff is done now this goes on the helix of your ear wherever you want to place it and this is the helix and you can put this wherever wherever you want it and this part that we coiled or that we just curled hooks up underneath the helix and this section just squeezes down sorry bear with me here I'll get it on so there we go now this one might look a little better down here since it is a heart now I did use a bead that has a definite top and bottom so this is going to have to remain if you don't want your heart going the wrong way, this is going to have to remain a left helix cuff. But if you use one that has no top or bottom, then you could just use it on either ear. But that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching.